All right, in this video, I want to cover some of the questions that I got about navigation in the iPad. Again, it's super intuitive, but there are a couple of things that uh, you can do to improve the navigation or customize the navigation. So the first one is if I use my two fingers, for example, you see that I can do this type of thing. I can rotate the canvas like so. By default, that's not enabled. And if you want to do that, you can just go to the gear icon here. You can go to navigation. So the second item here, and it is called the allow roll gesture. So if I turn that off, I won't be able to do that. Right? I'm using two fingers, but I won't be able to do that. So that basically um, keeps it in one axis. So you might prefer that. I personally prefer not to, um, just because I, I tend to just move around in different ways and, um, and try to follow the, the stroke or the path of the stroke as I sculpt. So that's one simple way that you can do to improve the, the navigation. The other thing you can do is right next to it, which is the center navigation on pinch. So by default, I think this one is on, but you can turn it off if you want to. So what this one allows you to do is when you use the pinch gesture, it allows you to go straight into the center of the pinch. So that is a very simple way of navigating. Like I said, everything is super intuitive, but I just thought I mentioned these two things that I reckon you can um, use to improve your workflow.